I'm Jackie and I played the part of Moth for the maid. I'm Andrew and I played Dickon. My name's Sarah Hollis Andrews and I played Mary Lennox. Hello, I'm David and I played Colin. How did you get your role in The Secret Garden and how old were you at the time? Uh, well, I was spotted at school in a school play when I was 12. And um, yes, a BBC producer saw me in a play and thought I'd be good for the role of Colin. So I went for an audition and I got the part. Yes, I, uh, I was also 11 and I turned 12 during the making of it and I went along to Dorothea Brookings' house. We had dinner and she turned around and asked me, did I know the story of the Secret Garden? So I proceeded to, to tell her in great detail the entire story. And, um, and I think the following day, we read through a couple of the scripts. I guess it was some weeks after I got a phone call saying, did I want to get to do Mary? So I was, I shouted and screamed, yes, yes, of course. And <laughs> that was it. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> I had nothing as tall as dramatic as that. <laughs> <coughs> um, I was um, I was taking elocution lessons um, because I grew up in Doncaster in South Yorkshire, where everybody speaks with a flat accent like that. Right. And um, um, I have a younger brother who has a hearing difficulty, so mm. we were sent along to an elocu elocution teacher called Mrs. Burns, and she she was in. I think she was contacted by the BBC to suggest that maybe some of her, her um, elocution students should go along instead of learning how to speak like that, but to speak more like that for the purpose of an audition. So, <laughs> so um, that's how come I ended up getting the part by being bad at elocution. Ah, oh, fantastic. <laughs> Well, pretty much the same goes for me as well. We went to the same um, speech and drama classes and I, I went along to um, audition for the part with loads of other people and I was 17 at the time and I didn't think that I would get it. And I had a phone call a few weeks later from Mrs Burns saying, Jackie, you've got Martha! And I was absolutely delighted. I thought it was fantastic. Right, which of the scenes that you appeared in was your favourite? Ooh. It was either a scene where animals were <laughs> featured. <laughs> featured extensively in people's laps or it was uh, the scene where I had a tantrum and I had to scream for hours and hours and hours and that was quite good fun to do. I also enjoyed the tantrum scene. I love doing that, um, having a good old ding dong with, with uh, Master Colin here. And the other one I really enjoyed was um, skipping, the skipping rope oh, scene. Oh, yes, I remember Because that. I, yes. I <laughs> had to pretend um, to be learning how, how to skip. But um, I actually knew how to skip really well. So that was a little mind bender, you know, it's like proper acting going on there. <laughs> and uh, I enjoyed that one. I enjoyed, I enjoyed so many of them. Mm. Yes, I think uh, my, my yes. favourite scene was um, another one of Master Colin's temperaments in the middle of the night where um, you had the entire household up um, in the middle of the night and everybody came running towards your bedroom and we were all dressed in our night clothes and it was actually filmed at night at Burton Constable so it was really dark and we all had candles and it was really atmospheric and spooky and uh, it was really fun, it was really fun doing that at night, I remember. Ah, what was your most memorable moment from filming The Secret Garden? Gosh, let me see. Well, the one that, that you'd mentioned, actually, that we were talking a little bit earlier on, um, was the final scene. And I don't know if it's your funny moment, but I'm, just, I'm going to tell it. <laughs> we, were sitting, we were sitting at the end, and the captions are going up. They're supposed to be going up. And um, we're sitting there with the, the rabbit. I had the rabbit in my lap, and you had the fox in yours and both animals and probably us were quite nervous um, so then we had to sort of improvise we were improvising lines we were just saying say whatever and we were saying things like oh yes it's great that Colin's well now and so on as we were sitting there that I felt this warmth <laughs> this, <laughs> this warmth come through my dress and um, and I think the same thing was <laughs> happening to you with the fox and at the end of the it was like cut and at the end of it, when I stood up, there was 
many little droppings. So it was like this little gift from the rabbit was there. And um, that was a funny moment. <laughs> I mean, you were fine. You only had the rabbit. I mean, that's quite a small thing. Well, I remember actually on the video, the last shot is me and uh, John walking across that thing. And there's a uh, stone statue yes. in the middle of that piece of grass. And I can't remember how, but somehow John contrived during a take to knock the head off the <laughs> statue <laughs> as we walked past. Oh so that God, was my favourite funny. moment. That's hilarious. <laughs> so they had to put the head back up? He just picked it up and just balanced it back on oh and we just God. legged it. <laughs> right. Who's your favourite actor or crew member to work with and why? Uh, there were many of them that I really enjoyed working with. Um, present company. Um, but I, I do have to uh, mention Dorothea Brooking, who was just a fantastic director and really wonderful with children, I thought, mm -hmm. child actors and yeah. so on. She was great, and I suppose the adults as well, but she was really, she was really, really great to work with. And um, I suppose she was my, you know, she was like a mentor for me. Well, ben, ben Weatherstaff was my favourite character. Oh, yeah, it was, um, um, he, he really showed an interest, and, and obviously, as um, in the uh, in, in, in the um, in the production, we both had to mess about with knives in the garden, and he showed me how to carve things with his um, his little little knife, which I found infinitely fascinating. <laughs> <laughs> also, he also made an art form of standing around and just pretending to cut things off the plastic the plastic yes. shrubbery <laughs> in, the, in the studio. Yeah. Actually, which he, he did with quite considerable artistry, yeah. I thought. Yes. Seems great. Well, obviously I enjoyed working with all of you, particularly Mary, who had such a big part and so many lines to learn and was always very professional. Um, but I absolutely loved Mrs Medlock. I mean, yeah. she was a real tartar. But in real life, Hope Johnston, who, yes. the actress who played um, Mrs Medlock, was very, very witty and she was very glamorous. And she mm. really was. And I was very friendly with her during the filming as well. Oh, she was yes. lovely. Did you ever get fan mail? Or have you ever been recognised by the secret garden fans, either then or now? Well, I guess it's probably not now. Well, not, actually, not now. it's funny you should say that, because I was recognised about five years ago. For, for, for this? For really? This, for, as Colin? Yes, a, a oh, lady goodness. came up with her kid, aged about six, and she said, Are you that Colin out of the secret garden? And I had to admit I was. My goodness. And it was very weird. So had she just watched it? She must have just no, watched it. No, I think she's it, held yeah. it in her memory all these years, <laughs> yeah. just waiting for the moment, and then it arrived. Well, I, I got, I did get fan fan mail um, from uh, children and adults, mm. and I remember having to be very methodical in my replies. I was told that I had to answer every single letter. And, uh, yeah, and that went on for a bit during the showing of it, mm. but not... Obviously not since. <laughs> I, I got a bit of fan mail and the, the occasional begging letter from those people who knew me quite well, but, but I, I wouldn't be recognised because, and as, you can, as you may or may not be able to tell, <laughs> I had to have a perm for the purpose of, um, <gasps> ah, for the purpose of doing, the, um, um, uh, doing the exercise, which was a tough thing at the time. Have you done much acting work since? And if so, what have you appeared in? I haven't done very much acting since. In the, Shortly after finishing the, uh, the Secret Garden, I was contacted by um, Walt Disney, and I ended up doing a, um, a film for them, um, which was also set in Yorkshire, and involved me speaking like that, um, uh, which was called Escape from the Dark. Oh, wow. But um, I finished on a high note, and my career cruelly ended at that time. Cool. Well, after the Secret Garden, I did a film called The Man from Nowhere which was with uh, James Hill and it was part of the Children's Film Foundation which is now defunct and uh, after that I also did another uh, BBC programme with Paul Stone uh, which was called The Peppermint Pig um, which was <laughs> which was a great great series um, I played the friend of the main character and um, yeah and, I, and then I took a hiatus from it and and now I've been doing, the last 10 years, I've been doing stuff off and on, but mainly in America. So that's my story. Oh. <laughs> uh, what did I do? Uh, uh, nothing, practically. I stopped, finished the Secret Garden, and then uh, didn't do any acting till about 1987. And then I did a two-year course, and then I did 
some fringe theatre, oh, wow. many marvellous productions. Wonderful. And then I decided to give that up. And uh, but recently I was in an Ardman animation. Oh wow! Well. Yes, playing a hamster. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Excellent. And I think that's where I should leave my career. <laughs> Let it rest. How do you feel now, getting together after nearly 30 years? <laughs> I feel great. Yes. I think it's really wonderful. It's really sweet, I, isn't it? It is. Mm. I'm amazed, actually, that we haven't like looked each other up before this. I mean, it's taken this long to yeah, it's just sort of... This big arc of life that's mm -hmm. gone on, but um, yeah, I feel initially I felt a bit strange, but I'm feeling yeah. a little more comfortable and more like I know you guys from somewhere. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's nice to see everybody again. Mm -hmm. I think yeah. that's the fun part of this, isn't it? Yes. Yeah.